Hello and welcome to Anara 100's tutorial. This tutorial comes uh, followed by the animation of Oliver the Bird that I uploaded a few hours ago. Um, some people were curious to know how I created the eyes. Um, they are not completely round, yet they are keeping their shape uh, while rotating. This effect can be done pretty easily uh, using some techniques. Uh, and in this tutorial, you, I, I will show you how to create this effect. Uh, but first, how to create a simple rig for the eyes. Um, for those of you who don't want the effect of the cartoonish eyes. So, in this tutorial, I'll be using Blender 2.68. I think it's it has to work with every Blender version that you have but I always recommend to get the most updated version. So let's get started. Open Blender. Uh, we won't need any of these for this tutorial. So to begin with, let's add an eyeball. Let's add a UV sphere. Uh, rotate on the x-axis. 90 degrees, so the pupil of the eye will uh, look forward. Now I'll make a very simple eye, not something very complicated, just to show you how it works. So this is going to be our eye. Let's move it uh, to the right, about one and a half blender unit. It doesn't really matter, it depends on your uh, character. Okay, so we got one eye, now we want um, the same eye on the other side of the head. Imagine there's a head, of course. Um, so what we'll do, make sure the cursor is on the origin of the uh, graphs. You can make sure by hitting Shift C and it will snap the cursor to the uh, center of the R, the graphs, excuse me. Okay, now let's select the pivot point to be the 3D cursor. So, so uh, when we are mirroring the eye, it will get just to the other side on the same point. So hit uh, when selecting the eyeball, of course, hit Control M. Hmm. Control M. Something here doesn't work. Okay, you will do it manually by. Where's the mirror? Oh, mirror. Okay. So once you get to this. <laughs> this mode, I don't know how, just get to it, select the mirror axis x, y, z, so select the x and it will mirror along the x axis. First we have to duplicate it, why doesn't it work, right, x axis, oh, ok. Now this works, I have no idea why control M doesn't work. It has to work, I checked it uh, before. Oh well, never mind. Um, okay, don't forget to get the pivot point back to the median point, otherwise it will make you some problems and you won't understand what is going on. Okay, so we got our two eyeballs. Now let's add an armature. Let's begin making the rig. So we got a bone. Let's get it between the eyes, like so. Let's make it bigger. This is going to be the head bone. Imagine those as uh, again. Imagine those head. Um, now select it. So we have the head bone. Now we want to add two bones, one for each eyeball. So select the one of the eyeballs and hit Shift S and select cursor to selected. We want 
and to snap the 3D cursor to the origin of this eyeball. And you'll see why. Now get back into edit mode of the um, armature. Duplicate this. Move it over here. This will be our eyeball bone. Select the head of the bone, which is this part. Remember that this is the head and this is the, the tail. Um, uh, select this and snap by Shift S selection to a cursor. Okay, now we want the tail to be parallel to the and uh, like so, but we want it to be exactly on the edge of the eye. So let's get back to our eyeball, select the center of the pupil, um, and again snap cursor to select it. Get back to the bone, select the tail, and snap selection to cursor. Now it's completely uh, straight along the y-axis but we can see as you can see it it has a rotation that we don't want we want it to be um, perfectly aligned with uh, the x-axis and the z-axis like a square um, so what we'll do select the whole bone and hit control n this rail this will recalculate the roll of the bone and select Z axis. Good. So this is what we wanted. So let's activate X-ray so you can see through the eye. Okay. Now we want the same bone on the other side. So again, let's mirror it. Uh, make sure the third cursor is on the origin of the graphs. Shift C. Um, Let's select the pivot point to be the 3D cursor. Let's see if the mirror works now. No. It doesn't want to work for some reason. Okay, so let's duplicate it. Shift D. And armature. Well, let's do it manually. Interactive mirror. X axis. Hit X on the keyboard. Okay. So we got now two, uh, the two bones of the eyeball, one for the left eyeball and one for the right. Um, okay, now let's parent them to the head bone. Select both of them first. Now the head, control P to parent and keep offset. Not connected because we don't want the heads of them to be connected to the tail of the head. Keep offset. Okay, now if we go to pose mode, we can see that it rotates on the pivot of the eye itself. Of course, the eye is not moving yet because we didn't parent it to the bone, but this will do it later. Okay, so now we got these two. Okay, next thing we're going to do is adding the controllers of the eyes. Because we want to make this rig um, much more useful, so we want to add some controllers. So select two bones and duplicate them and move them on the y axis. So they will point before the uh, eyes. Now let's duplicate one of them. Shift D. -E move on the x-axis and make it lay on the um, on the y-axis exactly on it if you want to make sure that it's go this that this is what uh, what uh, what uh, happens uh, make the pivot point the 3d cursor and scale x 0 to make sure that it's uh, exactly on the y-axis um, okay, and let's make it bigger, scale it up. Doesn't really matter, but 
it gives you more definition which one is the main controller and as you understood this is the main controller we want to parent these two to the main controller keep offset okay now if we go into pose mode we can see that if we move this one it will move the other two <coughs> um, now what we want it to do is when this moves here the eye will rotate in the same direction which means we want it to track the location of this one so what we're going to do is to choose to select this bone and first of all I think we should rename all of these bones because it is much more effective when you know what the names of the bones are um, so let's rename this to head this one oops, to left eye this right eye this is the left eye controller this is the right eye controller and this is the main controller okay so now we got all these named so select the left eye bone, go to bone constraint, so here we can add the temp track uh, constraint. Um, as you can see it does nothing because we have to, to select target, target object. It uh, determines which object is um, going to be tracked. So armchair and the bone is left eye controller. Now if we move the left eye controller you can see it tracks it. Wherever this is going the eye is rotating according to it. Now let's do, thing, let's do the same thing on the other side. Just remember the bone is now right eye controller good and if we move the main controller it moves them both which is very good because as you know pretty much uh, everyone uh, it usually move their two eyes at the same time um, but of course you can um, control it manually by moving each uh, controller at once. Okay, so this is the um, this is the basic rig for the eyes. Uh, of course you now oops of course you now parent each eye to the bone that it's and if we move the main controller you can see it works pretty good. So this is the basic uh, eyes ring. Now for the cartoonish eyes. Um, this uses lattices in order to change the shape of the eyes to something unusual. Uh, so let's add a lattice object. This is how it looks like. It looks like if you don't know what is a lattice, it uh, can change the shape of objects that you set them to be parented to it. Um, okay, so let's move it to this side of the eye. Let's make it as big as the eye. In object mode, everything is in object mode, not yet uh, edit mode. This is very important. Um, now let's change some of the subdivisions and four in each direction and I usually work only on the outside 
as you can see it adds some points in the inside but I think I always work with the outside only. Okay, so now that we got the lattice, you can see it affects nothing if we change some of the vertices. That's because we have to add a modifier to the eye. So select the eye, go to the modifiers panel, and add a lattice modifier in the object here. Select the lattice. As you can see, it does nothing yet. But if you go to, if you're going to the edit mode of the lattice and change some of the vertices, you can see it changes the shape of it. And that's what we want. So uh, you can now do what you want, whatever you want with the eye. Oops. And the lattice, of course. Whatever you want. Okay. Now, if we move the controller of the eye, you can see it keeps the shape. It's keeping it keeps the shape of the of the eye and yet it's rotating it's rotating on the pivot as it has to be so these are some cartoonish eyes now let's do the uh, the same thing on the other side again for the cursor make sure it's on the origin of the graphs let's go <laughs> to mirror uh, of course duplicate first Go to mirror. It should work with Control M for you. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. And X again. And select the eye. Uh, add the lattice modifier object. The second lattice now. And it works. It works pretty good. Now, uh, the last thing we have to do is when we move the head, you can see it doesn't move the lattices with it. So simply select the two lattices objects, uh, select the head bone, control P to bone. Now, whenever we move the head, the eyes move completely with it. Rotate and scale, whatever you want. And the controller is. Um, controlling the eyes rotation you can see some crazy you can do some crazy stuff to it uh, by scaling down and moving and rotating okay I think we can hide these two and we can uncheck the x-ray okay so this this is the basic eyes rig and the cartoonish eyes technique that I used for Oliver the bird you can use it in your rigs do whatever you want with it I think this is very handy and useful because we don't have to change the eyes rotation manually all the time Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, and thanks for watching. See you next time.